Hey everyone, Snicky the X Girly. Welcome to my fifth channel, The X Girly Likes BJDs, where I talk about BJDs and other dolls. Um, so today I'm doing. You might notice that this is the third video I've recorded in this background, in this outfit. <laughs> I'm trying to get a bunch done tonight. It's actually nearly 2.30 in the morning. I can't film sit-down videos in this house very easily, so I have to do it when everyone's asleep. Hopefully the lighting is okay. It looks fairly decent on my phone screen right now, but um, so hopefully it's not awful when I go to watch it back and upload it. Um, in this video, I'm going to do the BJD FAQ that's going around on Instagram. Um, I got the idea to do it in video form from someone I watch on YouTube here. His name is David Howard. He did this tag in video form over on here on YouTube um, instead of posting the picture on Instagram. And I just thought it would be a nice way to make a video because I don't have many videos on this channel and um, yeah I just thought it would be a nice way to answer the questions um, and I was also just just like just tagged to do this uh, by Sarah Swan's Pint Size Palace on Instagram so I'm just going to do them in this video um, I'm not going to tag anyone else because I always feel really awkward doing that. So if you want to do it in video form and you haven't done it on Instagram yet, or if you already have but you want to make video, feel free. <laughs> okay, so number one, how old are you? I am 32 years old. I'm to the point where I kind of forget how old I am sometimes. <laughs> but I'm 32, I'll be 30, 33 in May. What was your first doll? My first doll was a gift from Sarah. She is a Kid Sky Bobo. She was originally owned by Just Dorks a lot on Instagram and she was donated to Sarah and then Sarah gave her to me. Um, when did you start the hobby? So I didn't, I mean, I made my first YouTube video on Wine and Dollies back in September. So I kind of joined then, but I've been watching BJD videos from people for years on YouTube now, probably since 2015. So um, I don't know when exactly you'd say or if getting her would be my entrance to the hobby. If that's it, it's in November of 2017. Um, what is your grail doll? Um, my grail doll I actually just got. Um, not get physical, but just bought. Uh, a mini fee auntie, auntie, aunt, I don't know how you say it. Someone please correct me because this is the third video I've talked about her now. that I don't know how to say her name. Um, she was my grail, but I suppose now that I have bought her, she's not anymore. So I'm going to say a pull-up Mio, M-I-O, Mio, Mio, I don't know. I'm just going to say them how I want to. <laughs> I keep stumbling over everything. Um, did I say pull-up there? I meant a mini fee. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. It's very late. Um, what's your doll's clothing style? I like really girly stuff. Um, I do like punk styles on dolls, but so far, this girl has all been all frilly girly stuff. Um, what do your friends and family think of the hobby? They, they're supportive. My family, at least. My family is supportive, but they don't understand it. They're like, why? Like they, my mom, dad, and Nana just gave me the money to buy the mini fee ante. And they don't understand why they cost so much. <laughs> I tried explaining, but <laughs> they don't really get it. They're like, wow. <laughs> um, but obviously they're supportive if they're going to give me the money to buy her. 
So, um, they just think that it's something, it's a hobby for me to have. And I've kind of had a shitty time in real life recently, so they kind of let me do it. And then my, f my friends, I just post about it all over Facebook, and if people have bad things to say, they never have said them. So <laughs> I just kind of... <laughs> Uh, post them all over the place and I'm very open about it. Um, actually, that's the next question. Number seven, are you open with your hobby? Absolutely, I am. <laughs> I post dolls everywhere. I talk about dolls all the time. Um, number eight, do you have a gender preference? I typically go for girls. Obviously, my first two are girls. Um, I do like boy dolls, but I tend to prefer girls. Do you have a size preference? So obviously, Stasia here is a YoSD. Um, I haven't yet been able to experience an MSD or an SD. I wanted to try the MSD first, and that's who I'm getting next. So um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna prefer yet. I don't really know. I wanna say MSD is gonna be the way to go for me. I typically have had only one six scale dolls, so YoSD size, but um, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, how do your pets react to your dolls? So my pets that I used to have, because when I lost all my stuff, when my ex left me and I had to come here, I lost my cats as well. I, I had three cats. Um, the girl didn't really, she was very skittish and she didn't really have anything to do with them. She never came near them. The boys, my two boys, their brothers, um, they would want to munch on the wigs. <laughs> they like to knock them over and munch on the wigs. So I always kept them away from them. <laughs> and then the cat that lives here at my parents' house, Willie, he could care less about them. He doesn't even react to them at all. He's a very low-key cat. Um, next one, number 11. What would you do if your spouse, friend, or family didn't like your dolls? So my ex um, did not like my pull-up dolls. He didn't mind dolls in general, but he didn't like my pull-up dolls. Um, so I just kind of tried to keep him them away from him. They creeped him out, so... I just kept them in their own room away from him. They still bothered him sometimes. That's not what led to our breakup, but um, I don't know. I just kind of tried to respect their opinions and um, keep them away from them. No one's going to dissuade me into not getting dolls or no longer collecting dolls. Those people, I've never had anyone try to do that but those people could just go away because I would just cut them out of my life. Um, number 12, emergency. Do you have a plan for your dolls? Well, uh, I kind of did have an emergency and I kind of lost everyone. So um, the dolls I kept, um, was able to keep were my custom dolls. If another emergency happened, I don't know what I would do. I would probably just save my BJD. Um, but um, my dolls that I've worked on myself are like my most important. And then of course this girl because she's a gift. So um, that brings in the next question. Number 13, how do you feel about dolls as gifts? Obviously. I enjoy dolls as gifts since this girl was a gift and my technically my uh, new doll that's incoming is a gift because I was given the money for her as a Christmas gift so I'm all for it um, number 14 do you write stories for your dolls no I don't um, although I greatly admire and respect people that do 
Number 15, what's your favorite sculpt? Um, I really love mini fees. I don't know why I'm I'm super attracted to them. The Anti and the Mio are my favorites. Um, I also really like Supia dolls. Um, the Supia Lena is so pretty. I really love her, but all the Supia sculpts are beautiful. Um, what's your favorite company? Probably Fairyland, since that's who I went to first. <laughs> um, although I know so many people have issues with them, but their oh, their dolls are so pretty. <sighs> what's your most expensive doll? So that's Auntie. Um, the Mini Fee Auntie is going to be my most expensive doll. What's your least expensive doll? Um, this girl right here. I mean, technically they were both free because I didn't spend any of my money on them. Um, but as far as what they're worth, this girl is worth the least. I only have two, so there's not many to pick from. Um, what's your favorite doll? This girl is my favorite doll. I love her. Um, and number 20, what are your other hobbies? So I, um, I crochet, I crocheted this hat. Um, I do YouTube, <laughs> which I am doing right now. Um, I like to create pull-ups, do face-ups on pull-ups. Um, I used to love to draw and paint. I want to get more back into it. I still do like coloring and adult coloring books. Um, I kind of have a hard time finding creative drive to draw and paint anymore because I kind of hated my work, but um, I kind of want to get back into it again. I am a huge gamer. I play video games. Um, JRPGs are where it's at. Um, I know how to knit too. I'd love to learn how to sew. Um, I like to listen to K-pop. Anything else? Mm, I can't think of it. Ah, uh, photography. Photographing my dolls and stuff like that. Um that's everything I can think of. And then the bonus question is, will you send me your doll? I don't even understand why that's a bonus question. Who made that? No. <laughs> so that was the BJD uh, frequently asked question tag that's on Instagram. Did it in YouTube form. Um, thank you guys for watching. As I said in the beginning, I tag whoever wants to do this. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!